A big bust outside a Walmart. Heroin, crack, syringes, and guns. It highlights a growing concern outside the store. Yeah, deputies made the bust outside the Walmart on South John Young Parkway, just south of Sand Lake Road. Eric Sandoval is there live for us tonight. Eric, how did all this go down? Well, you know, Matt, we found out that this Walmart actually has a growing problem with people sleeping inside their car here in the parking lot. And this deputy was going around knocking on people's windows, waking them up, getting them to move along. Well, she happened upon one couple who was very much awake who had drugs, stolen guns, all just steps away from where families were shopping. Orange County Sheriff's investigators say it was here in this Walmart parking lot yesterday morning where Deputy Cynthia Homestead first encountered this couple parked in their car. Her life was in danger and she didn't know it. Sheriff's spokeswoman Jane Wattrell says Homestead saw the driver, 29-year-old Andre Espinosa, holding a large baggie full of drugs. She says she turned off the engine and took the keys away and told him to get out of the car. And that's when she says he started acting fidgety. We now know that he was reaching for a gun. But Espinosa never pulled that gun out. Instead, he crawled over his girlfriend in the passenger seat and ran off. He left behind what investigators call a treasure trove of drugs. News 6 got a hold of these pictures of what they found. 169 baggies of heroin, more than 100 baggies of crack, bottles of steroids and testosterone, and two stolen guns. One was reported stolen out of Kissimmee, the other, Orange County. And investigators say the two of them were selling, possibly in this Walmart parking lot. They had $4,000 on them, and they could have been waiting here for their next sale. Wattrell says her narcotics team is looking to get more results from this. We're glad you're doing this story because I think it's going to raise some eyebrows that this is going on at 10 o'clock in the morning in a Walmart parking lot. Now, Wattrell says that this is a war that her narcotics team is fighting every day, but she does warn people if they see something suspicious, call police and let them handle it. Now, Espinosa and his girlfriend are in the Orange County Jail tonight. Espinosa is being held without bond. We're live in Orange County tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt? Eric, thank you.